In this demo, we're going to take a look at the easiest object to use in Report Builder, which is the list. So I'll go ahead and start Report Builder. And we'll go into a blank report. And now I'm going to right click down here on data set and I'm going to say add data set. And I'm going to use one of the shared data sources and data sets that we had created. And I'll use this one in the Matheno groups. And I'll click that and we're now connected on in. And I'll give it a clever name. The jokes are free. Of course, you give it a real name up in here, and I'm going to say OK. And now here's clever name, the data set tied into the shared data set. By the way, the idea here is with the different names in the data sets is multiple people can use these shared data sets and they would go through and put the name that they would find appropriate for their individual environment. All right, so let's go through and do that. First off, let's resize the design area some just to move it on out, give ourselves a little more room, and let's put a title up here. List sounds fine. All right, now we're going to go to the insert menu, and again, when we were looking at the wizards, remember we had the different wizards up here, but list has no wizard. So I'm gonna click on list, and I move down, I'm gonna click on list, there we go, and I move down here, and they see the click was picked on up, and I'll draw, the shape down here and I'll release and now I have a list and if I click off of it and then click into it you see I now have the borders coming on across and again to move it if I clicked in the upper left hand corner and this will work with any of the objects I get back to the handles and then I can reposition it as a matter of fact let's make it a little smaller the advantage to the list is that it's free form so let's take the product name, I'm going to grab name here, I'm going to drag it on over and just drop her here. And again, if I click here, it's the same thing, I can reposition. Let's put name up in there and then let's take the list price and I'll drag that on across and drop it on down here. I'm deliberately dropping them not aligned. So now I'm going to click back into the rectangle here and show you some things. First off, let's, let's go ahead and run it. I always suggest you run it just to make sure it, it worked. And you see these are free form, they're out of line. This might be better if I had a picture up here, but I can line these up rather than with a table or a, or a matrix, which are grid shaped so that they have uh, like spread shape type of alignment down here. So um, let's come through and we've got that and I've got my name and now I can come through and if I right click in here, I can go through and I can insert different things. Let's insert a, li a line object and now I can just take and position that down there like that and we'll run it again. And drawing the line, showing it just to show you the free form type of design. <clears throat> All right, let's select it. I did went control C, control V and I've got a new in instance of it. I'm going to move over here of it being the list. Notice also the alignments, arrows, which is pretty darn handy now compared to the old days. You know. So I've got these two different lists down here. Let's delete this on out. I'm going to select this list in here, and I'm going to go to my View menu, and I'm going to turn on Properties. And uh, you can see that I've got this selected down here. And all I want to do is I'm going to change the background color so we can tell the lists apart. And let's go to yellow. All right, so we've got that. And let's close the properties box. So now I've got two different lists down here. Now if I right click here, I right click down here, you see I'm in the rectangular proper properties. If I go into the list and right click here, now I've got the tablex properties because I'm doing some in her assertions here. So I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna say add group. And what I'm going to do is, oh, let's do this a different way. I'm going to right click down in here and I'm going to insert um, something down in here. I could insert a chart, a gauge, map, a spark line, etc. anything you wanted to do. So let's just insert a spark line. Uh, because of the way I set this up, I can't actually insert a spark line because that's a multi-valued item and this is into a detailed cell. So spark line would take the inserts that would require uh, from comparing one cell over to the other, but I've only got one cell in here and I can't do that. So I just wanted to show you that. So I can insert a row. I'm going to, I'm going to insert a group below 
and now I've got this. I can right click again and I can add different groups. I can add a parent group. And you see I can group, I can come through and I could say I could group by list price, etc. Add a group header, etc. So what you're really doing that when you run this down in here is you've just taken this one cell, which is the same as this, and you've added this cell, this list, into what is now become a tablex. Let's go through and run it, just to go home and run it just to show it to you. So as we come on down across, and I move that on over, you see this down here, it's because of the size of the spacing. There's that. So if I come down here and resize this some, um, yeah, this gets a little ugly. Oh, no, 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 here you go. Grab them up here, it's much easier. Move that on across, and then I'll grab this, to move this on across to resize it, and click out of it, see if I can get it to go. And I can do the resize here. If I move this on across, I can come through and I can do the resize, and that's what you do, is you play with them left and right. But essentially, what we have here now has just turned itself into an embedded list in a tablet. So normally you're not going to want that. The list you're going to want are like this, which are the free forms repeating type of list. And again, we'll run it. And you see this, this free form down here. Alright, uh, lists are probably the least most popular display item that we have within reportings. And it's because of this, this positioning business that we have up in here.